He stands alone as the only Democrat running for Tennessee governor. Jackson businessman Mike McWhorter acknowledges that he has name recognition, but this week the son of former Governor Ned McWhorter is talking about issues during a campaign swing to Memphis. Fox 13's Les Smith sat down with McWhorter, joins us live in the studio. You know, almost forgot he's running. Yeah, it's been pretty quiet. You know, it's a luxury that for now, Democrat Mike McWhorter can afford watching his Republican counterparts shell out millions for exposure in a gubernatorial primary race while he just awaits the winner in the fall. Politely. Nin McWhorter was a 20th century Tennessee governor who for eight years fervently stressed to legislators the financial need to elevate education to the levels required of a 21st century classroom. It means that classes will be smaller so teachers can teach and that kids will have up-to-date textbooks and computers so they can learn. I'm very proud of being his son. Jackson, Tennessee Democratic gubernatorial candidate Mike McWhorter isn't about to shy away from the legacy of one of the state's most popular governors. But while raising educational standards remains a challenge in the volunteer state, McWhorter is campaigning on a platform to address the immediate top priority in 21st century Tennessee and nationwide, finding the right formula to create jobs. McWhorter sees the need to focus on a two-pronged plan for economic development of businesses large and small, aided by the carrots of tax incentives some of Tennessee's largest corporations are already enjoying. We do it for big business. We've done it for Hemlock. We've done it for Volkswagen. We can create a program for small businesses that are creating jobs in this state. I'll go and meet with those industries. I'll find out who their supplying companies are, and I'm actively going to want to go after them because they're going to want to be close to their customers, and I feel like that's going to be new jobs. With the abrupt February withdrawal of Democratic State Senator Jim Kyle from the race, McWhorter stands alone as the party's standard bearer, and only West Tennesseans still in the gubernatorial hunt. He's calmly watched the multi-million dollar campaigns being waged by a trio of well-financed Republicans headed for a primary election collision course in August. But that doesn't mean McWhorter's been mesmerized into inactivity. Yes, uh, the Republicans are spending a ton of money right now, and and that's just fine with me. It lets me get a huge jump start on this campaign for the fall, because we can get the structure of our campaign in place. But McWhorter readily admits, as a 21st century governor, if elected, he'll be happy to take counsel from a now 79-year-old 20th century former governor, who famously fueled by a vanilla wafer, had an unwavering reputation for getting things done in the state house. As the next governor, I'll have the best advisor any new governor ever had. And I've learned after 54 years to listen to it. He's got a lot to say. Well, you know, we want to know what you think by logging on to MyFoxMemphis.com to answer the web poll question that is linked to this story, which was kind of alluded to in the story. Should there be a limit placed on campaign spending in Tennessee statewide elections? Think about that one. Les Smith, Fox 13 News.